Let's have a look at the uh, Modolo, Italian-made uh, brake. This is a Modolo Speedy. Uh, good brake in its, in its day. Uh, we have cleaned up one. We're going to look at the other as good uh, reconditioning habit. Uh, we're going to take one apart at a time so we can use the other one as a, as a role model. So this one's already done. It will be a template for this one. We're going to begin by removing the back mounting nut and washer. Need some cleanup on those. We have a pan here. We're going to keep our parts safe in a, in a pan. And uh, we're going to use an axle vise as the soft jaws to hold our uh, the, uh, the pivot stud here. We don't damage any, any threads. To begin, we're going to uh, release spring tension here. So let's pull off one spring. And then the other, this is a nice powerful spring. That's good to, good to feel. Uh, one aspect, design aspect of this brake, uh, this is a single bolt, it's called a safety pivot style. Uh, this is a nut, it acts as our, our brake adjustment. Uh, there is no lock nut, separate lock nut for this. When we put it in the bike, the mounting nut is part of the pivot adjustment, so we need to watch out uh, when we uh, mount these to the bike that we're not over tight. Uh, so that, that is off now. And we can draw this bolt out. So a good bit of rust here we'll need, need to clean up. The spring is out. And then off comes this nut. Again, there's our fine threads. That's part of our adjustment. And we have a series of washers. A thrust washer at all moving points, which is nice. The head, thrust washer, thrust washer between the two arms, and at the back, still more movement, another thrust washer. So we'll take these off. All thrust washers appear to be the same, so we're symmetrical there. All off. Still some more cleanup to be done here. Uh, this is our pinch bolt. Gummy, lots of crud in there, so let's loosen that. We have a stop washer, a keyed washer here, keeps that from rotating. A uh, bolt comes down uh, with the hollow hole there to pinch the cable. Uh, some surface rust there, we'll try and, we'll try and clean up. And uh, everything sticky, everything corroded. So we'll have to do some greasing going back together. Uh, this piece here, uh, this cam can be quite sticky and, and gummy and dry. Uh, we need to get inside there. We can use a uh, screwdriver. Another option is a pocket knife. Carefully prying this cover up and off. So inside we have the, the pivot that runs our cam. That needs to come off. We're going to gently grab in the soft jaws here. This one's a 12 millimeter. Comes off. Not forcing anything. So you can see we, we take this off. More surface rust underneath. Some of this is going to clean up fine. Some of it, the chrome is simply gone, no matter how much we rub, no matter how much you clean. You can see some's come off here. Material is gone. We can do nothing there. Buff it a little bit more, maybe. But uh, the dirt is fine. Surface rust going to come off. But it's really eaten and, and pitted. Uh, it's just too late. We're probably a few years too late. And then here we see the, the pivot and then the cam, the eccentric here, rotating round and round. So that's pretty much our brake, except these shoes. We do want to pull the brake shoes off, pull these pad and pad holders off. Quite corroded, again, this, this pitting here, probably not going to clean up as much as we would like. 
Uh, this bike probably should get new pads. Uh, we'll have to test ride this bike and, and see how they stop. Uh, the only advantage to this pad, this very old pad, it is hard as a rock, uh, very brittle. Uh, it does say Medolo World Champion. Uh, well, that's kind of nice. So we're going to try and, uh, and reuse that if they stop. So it's, it's nice to look good. Looking good is important. Uh, we'll say stopping does trump uh, looking, uh, looking nice. So let's pull this one off as, as well. We'll apply an old, an old trick to these. Uh, they're starting to get a lip here. Uh, they're very hard and glazed. So we have a very aggressive piece of sandpaper here. We're going to hold it flat. And we're going to take this pad down a little bit, holding it square. See, we're trying to get that glazing off. Also a good trick for our, our disc brakes uh, to deglaze them once in a while. Still hard as a rock. Um, the nice thing about uh, this one was worn down more. This one even says uh, world champion. I think it was 1983, so that was, that's why we're trying to reuse these. But again, a test ride is going to have to do, uh, have to determine if, if this is actually any good at all. Then we'll have to, to replace the, uh, the pads. And uh, the downside of this one, I hope we can get a, a, a brake to, to match our uh, holder. Otherwise, we're also having to replace the, uh, the holder. Then we'll continue. And sand this one. Cleaning. Let's get a little solvent over here. And rag. Right, with some cleaning. And so that is our brake uh, rebuild. The adjustment, where well, there's no play, but they still move nicely, uh, will have to come when we're on the bike and uh, actually centered. One more last part. Just not to forget the little rubber cover. A pair of them ready to go.